So we had a, a very important improvement in the kinematics of the instrumentation, the elliptical kind of preparation, and a very, very good improvement than the other. And this was uh, a moment that the endodontics uh, were more, well, the endodontics was more democratized. So now our students from the first years and the first contact with endodontics are capable to perform good root kind of preparations because we have a much uh, better product in our hands with a uh, motor driving uh, file which is is very very good for everyone the specialist the general practice and uh, even the academic uh, uh, students but the biggest problem when the, this kind of uh, kind of movement came to the market this, these files came to the market with this increase of, of facility was the fracture so uh, Specialists, general uh, clinicians started to use these files, but they start to broke in their hands. And this was a big, big, big problem in that moment. So uh, to improve that and to avoid the fracture, the first point, the first thing is to understand how these uh, files fractures. So the nitty titanium, the nickel titanium, uh, alloy and files and all of them uh, can break in three different ways the first of all is the fatigue so we need to replace the files uh, when they have some kind of deformation and we can't use this uh, many times we have to use this uh, and replace the files before it suffer the fatigue the second possible uh, cause of fracture is the flexural fracture. So I'll show some videos that will be very easy to, to understand as the torsional fracture too. So the flexural fra fracture is associated with the alloy, the flexibility of the file. So when I have a, a file in rotation in the root canal, uh, in a curved root canal, we have a point of stress and it can break if you don't use the right movement, pushing it in and out of the, the, the canal. Uh, this is important. And even with a flexible file, we need to, to use the movement in the proper manner. But with a flexible file, which a which, uh, more flexible alloy, will avoid this kind of, of fracture too. The second fracture is associated with uh, a immobilization of the tip of the file. So when we have this immobilization, the tip is locked in some place in somewhere in the root canal. It's still in rotation and will deformate and fracture. So we can see in slow motion, it's easy to understand, to see. So the file starts when it's locked, it starts to deformate until it breaks and it's a big problem for us. So understanding the manner that the, the uh, file can fracture, uh, the manufacturers and the researchers started to look for different motion, a different alloy. Uh, 